I love bread. So yesterday, I decided to make some. Humans started making bread over 15,000 years ago, so it really can't be that complicated of a recipe. And it's amazing that today's bread is loaded with preservatives and additives and thickeners when it's really just a few simple ingredients. So let me show you how I made it. I used organic bread flour from Whole Foods. I do prefer to use organic flour. Wheat is one of the most heavily sprayed crops with glyphosate, which is not it's, it's a carcinogen. It's, it's not something you wanna put in your body. So if you are gonna be making a lot of bread, I would recommend using an organic flour and it's still really cheap. This bag of flour was, I think it was $3.79 for this bag of flour. And this is a small one. So if you were to buy in bulk, you could definitely get better bang for your buck. But you can use all purpose flour. I just like using the bread flour. So we are going to start out with one and a half cups of warm water. You want to make sure that the water is warm. It's not cold and it's not too hot. It should be around a hundred degrees so that it can activate the yeast, but not kill the yeast. Then you're going to pour in one packet of yeast, active dry yeast, mix it together until the yeast dissolves. And then I added in three and a quarter cups of the flour, mixed it together covered it with a towel, covered it tightly with the towel, and then put it out into a warm part of the house for a few hours to let it rise. Then we're gonna take a Dutch oven and put it into the oven, turn on the oven to 450, and then once it reaches 450, leave the Dutch oven inside the oven for 20 minutes before doing this. All right, on it goes. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I believe that all this stringiness that you see, I believe that's gluten. I am going to form this into some baguettes, I believe. So I'm going to split off a piece. I think I'll do three baguettes. I'm going to score them. Uretin, uretin, uretin. Okay, Joseph. Already, I have had in the oven at 450 my caraway pan. This oven safe, love that thing. This is preheated. All right, I'm gonna put the bread in here. Lid will go on top and back in the oven it shall go. If you have a Dutch oven, you are going to put the lid on the Dutch oven and then put it into the oven for 30 minutes covered, then take the lid off and bake it for another 10 minutes. If you don't have a Dutch oven, then you can just bake this on a baking sheet on some parchment paper. I would advise though that you put in the bottom of your oven a casserole dish and then right before you put it in the oven to pour in about four cups of water into the bottom of the, the oven where the casserole dish to help create some steam. I prefer to bake this in the Dutch oven, but if you don't have one, you can still make it. So the bread is made, the tank is clean, the tank is clean, and I still haven't introduced myself. Hi, I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm a nutritionist, the creator of the Slim on Starch program and all of the SOS programs, including the Strong on Starch the Strong on Starch program, the Serene on Starch program, which is your daily meditations. All of that information is going to be linked below and it's gonna be wrapped up in my app. But first, we make avocado toast. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is take our baguette. I ended up taking two of them. <laughs> You're gonna slice it up, toast it, and then I added on some sliced avocado as well as a seed mix. The seed mix is nutritional yeast and then everything but the bagel seasoning, but it's the no salt one that was given to me and I put that on top. And then I added on some black beans, some red bell pepper, and some steamed red onion. And of course, as always, don't ever forget it, the B12 baby. Seriously, don't forget it. Okay, update. I just finished my two pieces of avocado toast, but I'm gonna have two more because I'm particularly hungry. Guys, there's something wrong with me. I have a cat bed on my desk now. 
So I am sitting at my desk and right now what I'm doing is I recorded a bunch of workouts for the Strong on Starch program. I am so sore from doing all of them. They're super effective. I'm going to upload those into the app right now. Here's a little sneak preview of them. They are all at home workouts. So when you sign up for the app, you have the opportunity to customize. I want to do at home workouts or I want to do gym workouts. And by the way, you're not set in stone. You know, it's not locked in which one you want to do. You can change. You can swap workouts when you get your workout plan. But you can say if you have any injuries, how many days per week you want to work out, what your goal is. Is your goal to build muscle? Is your goal to release fat how old are you and then you get a customized workout plan based on what your goals are so i want to have right now i already have like i've recorded so many workouts already i think there's already like 150 to 175 in there that i've already recorded but i'm just gonna keep on loading it up because i appreciate that different people have different abilities and you know have certain injuries and can't move in certain ways and have equipment or don't have equipment so i just want it to be a huge library so that it really can be customized to you so that's what i'm doing right now i've been on a nacho kick lately not show why <laughs> i I literally just thought of that. Actually, I do know why. It's because when you have nutritional yeast, when you have salsa, when you have beans, when you have corn tortillas, there's one answer. It's nachos. So let's make some. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking my tortillas. These can either be frozen or fresh. I actually think that they're better when they're frozen and you just break them up into chips. But I'm just going to cut these and you can cut them into fourths or sixths. And I think I want big chips today. Now I'm gonna take a baking tray. I'm not gonna line it or anything. Place my chips on there. All right, I'm gonna bake these in the oven at 400. I'll probably do about 10 minutes, but you do wanna keep an eye on them. Okay, so I have a little saucepan over the stove and in it I'm gonna put some nutritional yeast. I'm just gonna eyeball this, to be honest. I'm gonna put some plant-based milk. Soy milk is the best. I just have almond milk on hand right now, but I do recommend soy milk. I'm gonna put in some oat flour. You can use any type of flour. This is just gonna kind of help thicken it a bit. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of salsa to give it some flavor. And I'm gonna let that thicken up into a cheese sauce. All right, it's assembly time. All right, so we will lay out our chips. Now, we'll add on some black beans, steamed red onion, I don't like onion raw, some bell pepper, some freshly chopped lettuce, and avocado. Beautiful. Post nachos meditation recording. That sums me up in an afternoon, really. I actually had two plates of nachos. <laughs> and now I have the energy to record some meditations for the Serene on Starch program. So you may have seen in my last vlog, I wrote all the meditations out and now I'm gonna record them. So in the Serene on Starch program, which is housed in the Healthy Emmy app, you'll get a daily meditation and we're gonna, I'm gonna record one. So I start off with a quote and then I sort of reflect on the quote and then guide you into a meditation and then give you an affirmation to carry with you throughout the day. Today's quote is from Margaret Matheny. 
Once she stopped rushing through life, she was amazed at how much she had time for. In the modern world, we feel so much pressure from time and we feel so inclined to get more done, get more done, get more done. But when we slow down and become present, we actually find that time expands and there's more space, more space for joy, connection, creativity, pleasure, enjoyment. So as we meditate today, I want you to let go of the urge to rush. I want you to breathe deeply and feel the spaciousness of the moment. And I want you to imagine time stretching out before you, allowing you to savor each second of the meditation fully. And I will guide you into the meditation. There will be a period of meditation and then I give the affirmation at the end to carry with you through the rest of the day. Today's affirmation to take with you through the rest of the day is, I release urgency and I welcome calmness and clarity into my life. I love the Serene on Starch program. I hope you sign up. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I have just turned on the oven. I've got a bunch of sweet potatoes here. I washed all these yesterday, so they're washed. I just gotta poke some holes in them and put them into the oven. I'm gonna bake a bunch of these. So the oven is at 400 degrees and these are gonna go in here for about an hour. And then to have with it, I'm gonna make a nice big hearty Caesar salad. All right, I'm starting out here with some chopped lettuce. I'm gonna add on Caesar dressing from my Healthy Sauces and Dressings cookbook. Add on the lettuce and now I will add on the toppings. So I have these steamed potatoes. I just threw these into the steamer for about nine minutes. We've got some purple ones, some red ones, crunchy red bell peppers, black beans, some Brussels sprouts, and some avocado. And then I'm gonna take a seed mix. I put this on everything. On goes the seed mix. This is a salt-free everything but the bagel seasoning with nutritional yeast. Beauteous. It is time for skincare to wrap up the day. So Bamboo Earth actually sent me a Dead Sea mud mask and I have a Dead Sea mud mask. So I love Dead Sea mud masks, say that 10 times fast. And I'm so impressed because I love this product that I got from Amazon. It is just the best feeling to have on your skin. But I was looking at the ingredients and in comparison, Bamboo Earth is taking the cake because this one is fabulous, but in here there is things like there's xanthan gum in here. And then I look on this one and the ingredients, there's only three ingredients on this Dead Sea Mud Mask. So I'm really excited to try this one out because the ingredients are so much better than the one that I have from Amazon. No shade to this company, it's a great product. I love using it, but this one, I'm really looking forward to using tonight. So I love this company. I'm loving their products so far. Ethically traded ingredients, sustainably sourced and produced, and it's glass, so it's not wasting a bunch of plastic. No sulfates, parabens, gluten, GMOs, mineral oil, no animal testing. So yeah, I am really excited about using this. All right, honeys, make sure that you have signed up for updates about the app, or if you're watching this when the app is already live, go for it. But if you sign, my camera cut out. If you sign up for updates, you get a lifetime discount. So I'm just saying, thank you so much for watching. I love you, honeys, and I'll see you in my next video.